All right, people, get ready. Uh, you're going to be witnessing from next week at the uh, Silver Bear Theatres, both at the Accra Mall and West Hills. There's a new, what do you call this thing? It's, it's, it's a thriller. It's, it's a political drama, but it's a thriller. And uh, if you haven't seen it, this is your chance, man. I had a chance to see some, a couple of episodes of it, and I'm telling you, it is mind-blowing. Who else will come up with such a thriller in this country? I don't know, one person. Myself, no. Put your hands together, close your love and welcome. Shall it from Paul Maso. There we go. There, there, there. All right. Shelly, have a seat. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm okay. Well, Shelly's here. We're going to go into a commercial break, and when we come back, we'll be talking about champagne. So come on, we'll be right back. It's going to get sweeter than guinea fowl. It's the KSM Show. We are back, and Shelly, you're back here again. Yes, I am. And I'm, it's I'm, been I'm, a while, though. It's been a while. Yeah, yeah, I haven't been here in a while. Yeah, yeah. You've done, like, I've missed, like, what, five movies? Because normally, the minute the movie comes out, this is your first stop. I'm here. Yeah. I'm here and we're talking. We're talking, yeah. but the last two or three? I think the last conversation we had, and this was not here, I said to you that um, when, when I come here next, it would have to be something really mind-blowing. And so, I guess, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and I've seen it. And I've you liked it? Oh, man. I, I, I don't like comparing things, you know, but I had the feel like... Uh, Kind of like scandal. You know how things change every second? I know. It's like you can't blink because you think you're going to be losing something. Exactly. That's the feeling I got. I'm like, wow. Yeah. I wanted to do something, um, well, first and foremost, I wanted to do something political. Mm. You know, Why? Political with a twist. Mm. You know, why? Because, you know, sort of done, done it all. You know, not like done it all, but the, when it comes to the, the various genres, you know, we've done the drama, the bit of a thriller, we've done the love, the romance and stuff like that. Mm. And it is election year. Mm. So mm. what better time yeah. to try yeah. your hands at something political, political. Yeah. than an election year. And there's so much material out there that it's so easy to just look out your window and start writing something, mm. you know, mm. yeah. So mm. that, was, that was the motivation. Plus, I thought, you know, after... I think after Adam's Apples, which really had a big cast, which introduced a lot of new faces, we really haven't done anything on that scale mm -hmm. after mm -hmm. that. So mm -hmm. I was thinking, you know, it would be fun if we could create something else that we, we, we would invite other new faces mm. and get them to sort of find them, uh, themselves on the platform of Champagne. So mm -hmm. I'm very excited to say I have discovered some really, Really? Really good talents. Wow, yes. wow. And that's what I noticed, by the way, because I saw a whole lot of new faces. Yeah. And then you had a blend, you know, because they were the, the veterans. Yeah, the yeah. old couples. <laughs> <laughs> we have the old couples. The old we have, couples were. Yeah, we have the, I don't think Kofi Buckner is going to like that too much. Yeah. We have the Kofi Buckners and the Fred Abugis yes. and the Idi Cocos. Yeah. Um, Enima, forgive me, and the Enimas. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have the current, the you current, know, the, yeah. The, yeah, the reigning champions, the yeah. Jocelyn Dumas, mm -hmm. the John Dumelos, the Zinel Zoos, you know, we have those ones. Give it up, man, give it up. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where to place J.O.T. Ajiman, you know, he's caught, yeah, in between, JOT, yeah. he's caught in between veteran and reigning. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah he's, he's yeah. in a box of, uh, on his own. Uh, on his own, yeah. yeah. And then we have the fresh faces, you know. Now, some of these people have done little things, you know, but not, you know, not, not on the scale. Yeah. I know some of them have done adverts. Um, some of them have probably done one or two things outside the country. I know one of the ladies, Kabuki, I know she featured in, um, in, in a movie. Um, that I think Sean Penn produced or something oh, like that. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. So she's had a taste of, mm -hmm, you know, the real mm -hmm, thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. But when it comes down to Ghana, she really hasn't done mm. anything. And there are a whole lot of them. And it's been fun. It's been really So that was a decision exciting. you made while auditioning that you wanted yeah, fresh definitely. faces? Definitely. When we really? were auditioning, myself and Lydia, I said to Lydia, you know, let's find, you know, let's find... Mm -hmm. new stuff, mm, you know, mm, yeah, and, mm. and give it a good blend mm, so mm, that mm. people can feel rejuvenated and, yeah, you know, they'll be yeah. excited to, to go back into the cinemas. Because, you know, sometimes it, it gets a little... I mean, look, 
I'm guilty of wanting to use certain faces all mm. the time. Mm. And the reason I do that, and Enima would be one of the people that I, I probably cast there for a schoolgirl. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because it's such a joy working with these people. You get it. Yeah. They get the lines, yeah. they understand the story. You know, and, some, and sometimes, a lot of times when I want to be lazy, I, I don't bother <laughs> going beyond the Enimas and the Jocelyns and yeah. stuff. Because, you yeah. know, yeah. 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 But because Champagne was going to be on for a long time, and because we wanted a lot more people to see it, and we didn't want it to, we didn't want the, the usual talk of, oh my God, it's the same cast from Adam's Apples, mm, blah, blah, blah. Mm, so we mm, thought, you know, a good mm, blend. Mm, mm. And also, it's, it's, it's been a thing when it comes to Spiral Productions. We have discovered, yeah. you know, we, we discovered a lot of people. And we thought, you know, we haven't done that on that scale in a while. So why not? So, so yeah. we went all out. All out. To get some new discoveries. Yes. Whoa. So we are, we're going to invite some of these um, brand new talent, new <laughs> discoveries. And uh, Shelly is going to introduce them. So who's, who's joining us? Okay, so first, drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I have a very beautiful, um, should I say woman or girl? I'm not too sure, you know, yeah. Mm. Her name is Shelly Tibilla. Tibilla? KSM, she is so pretty. I mean, when you can say, Tun Tun Black. Tun Tun Black. Oh, yeah, yeah, she plays the first lady. Ooh, okay, ooh. so ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and let's welcome the first lady. All right. Shirley. Tibilla. There you go, there you go, there you go. There you go. That's it. All right. And? And then I have the lady I just spoke about, uh, the lady, the, con the Sean Penn oh, connection. Oh, the Sean Penn yes. connection, yeah. Yeah, she's amazing. She's amazing. I mean, the first time I saw her, the first time she auditioned. And you know, the funny thing, she actually auditioned via video. Um, she, she didn't do her auditioning oh, okay. physically. Yeah. Um, I've seen her once. She had done one audition and we hadn't used her. And I was thinking, okay, this character, who's going to be able to play? So I auditioned a few people and I was like, you know what? I told oh, her, I said, I'm not too, I'm, I'm still not happy. You know what I'm getting? So this lady is not in the country. She's in South Africa. She was doing some modeling, I think. Mm. I said, you know what? Send her the script. Let her do it. She does it that same day. She sends the video over. I said, sold. Please put your hands together and welcome Habuki. Habuki. Here we go. There, there, there. All right. Whoa. Yep. Over to you. So that's uh, Kabuki and Shirley. 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 My namesake. Yes. Yeah. Your namesake. Yes. Kabuki, you're in South Africa. Yes, I was doing modeling. I was shooting, we were doing reruns for the movie that I shot with Sean Penn. I can't actually speak too much about it because it's not out yet, but that's what I was doing at the time I auditioned. For. Wow, Sean Penn produced, directed, wrote? Yes, what did he, he produced, really? he directed. Have you met Sean Penn? Yes, I really? have. Really? <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> have you met Sean Penn? <laughs> I'm talking to you, I'm asking about Sean Penn. Forgive me. <laughs> well, that's great. So, um, tell me a little bit about how you got to work with Sean Penn. You always mean acting? I've, I've always wanted to. I did drama in school mm. a little bit, but what then school? I went to GIS. Yes. It was very early stages and I never really did anything after that. But then I, I was doing radio and then I decided that I think it's something that I would really like to do. I would go into act, I would like to go into acting. I had a lot of friends who wrote and directed. Mm. So one of my friends who was shooting a short movie and he said, you know, you can play a role mm. in here. And then off that, because everybody used to hear me in the office saying, I want to act, I want to act, my manager right now, Kwame Fache, when he heard about the role... Oh, Kwame Fache is your manager? Yes. Okay. When he heard about the role, then he asked me, can you do it? And I was like, yeah. So I had to learn it. And then we sent the same way I auditioned for Champagne is the same way I got that one because we had to record it here and send the videos. Wow. Th 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 times are changing, you know. You can, know. You can do that or do know, know, this video and send it. Yeah, I but see. yeah, I it's, see. it's all changing. So wow. Yeah, when people say, "Oh my God, I want to come to Ghana," and yeah. I said, "You don't need to do that." Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm going to send you a script <laughs> and show me what you've Sorry. got. Yeah, so yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. And Shirley. Yes. Your 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 experience. You were also in acting, dance stuff. Um, no, I was actually in the corporate world. Worked with Delta Airlines and oh, Intercontinental, really? now Access Bank all put together seven years and then I just decided to pursue my dreams. I was in the School of Performing Arts, University of Ghana, Ligon. It was always there, but at the time, I'm sorry to say this, I just didn't like 
what was on TV mm. in terms of Ghanaian productions. Mm. So I remember very well my last year in school, I actually had a script. I'm not going to mention names. <laughs> I looked at it. I went for the audition. I just came out and I said, no, no. I won't do this. And I want to say something. Everything you profess with your mouth, positivity, it really works. I always said to myself, if you're going to do this movie thing, you have to do it well and it has to be proper. And I always said, if it has to be movies, then it has to be Shirley. That's wow. what I said. It has to be Sparrow Productions. Mm. So I just bummed into her at the salon one day and I was like, oh, hi, Shelly. Are you doing auditions? She's like, not at the moment, but probably something next month. I was like, okay. Stayed for a bit. Sent her a text, I think after a month. Mm -hmm. I said, hello, um, we had a dis little mm -hmm. discussion mm -hmm. in the salon the other day. Mm -hmm. I just, I'm just following up. And then she goes, oh, on Wednesday, come to the studios, come take wow. a script, and then wow. we'll tell you when to come back. I went, she gave me the script, and I think I was supposed to come back a day after or two days after. The rest is history, and we are here today. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, talk about, talk about, you know, the mindset is amazing. Mm -hmm. And that focus. Yeah. Wow. It's always been there, yeah. And so you auditioned? Yes, oh yes, and, um, I did. Yeah, I, and... With, with Shirley or with Sparrow Productions, mm -hmm. you just, you, you, won't go, you won't go through easily. Mm -hmm. You would have to go through, you would have to go through the process. Yeah. That's how she gets yeah. the best. What was I'm the not process? saying that, okay, so I, I remember I came for my first audition. She didn't even look at me. <laughs> she didn't say anything, but she knew me already. Yeah. But she didn't say anything. She didn't even bat an eye. Yeah. So I was like, okay. And then I left. And then Lydia later calls me and says, okay, there's another audition with other people, so you come prepared. She sent me the script. That day when I got there, there were so many girls. I was like, eesh, what's going to happen today? So we were paired up. Okay, five minutes, you come in. And then... We were just coming in one after the other. So I get in there, I show what I've got, and then Shelly says, Lydia, this is not what she was supposed to do. And then, okay, so I just went out. <laughs> and then Lydia says, no, 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 this is not the script I gave you. I said, no, this, this is what you gave, gave me. me. And then she goes, okay, then you have to do this one now. Wow. Five minutes, we'll call you back. So I was like, okay, God. <laughs> With all my experiences from banking to airline to personal experiences, right through School of Performing Arts, plus what I know myself, you have to come through for me today. So I just read through. The lines were not even on point. I went back in there. I over-dramatized a little bit. Because <laughs> I, was, I was very nervous because now I didn't know what she, she, she expected. So truth be told, I think I overdid it a little yeah. bit, but I'm sure she could just see exactly that, what it was that she was looking okay, for. So I'm sure she okay. said, this we can polish up, this would come with time, so let's do this. And yes, we are doing this. We are doing it? Yeah. <laughs> and Shelly, what was going through your mind? Uh, Did she overdo it? She overdid it. <laughs> <laughs> she overdid it. But I, I think, I, I thank God for something. I, 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 I see beyond what's in front of me. You know, when, 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 when I know there's potential, I don't throw it away completely. And I knew when I saw her immediately wow. that there was potential. You know, yeah. she, she had done one audition already. I had her in mind. I always tell people, when you come for an audition, you need to leave the room with me thinking about you. I have, to go, to, yeah, yeah. I have to go to bed thinking. You need to, you need to get into my mind once in a while. If you're not able to do that, you're never getting apart. So you need to leave me with something. It what can did she be, leave it, you with? I just thought, you know... She's got such grace about her, you know, yeah. And I like the way she spoke. You know, she, she didn't speak with, uh, um, an, um, what, what do they call it, an affectation? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. She spoke clearly yeah. and like a, a proper Ghanaian would speak. And I thought, you know what, we don't have a lot of hair on screen. Mm. You get it, yeah. Mm. We, 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 we do, but we don't because, you know, as much as... As much as you, you have, um, you know, the other ladies, Jocelyn, you have um, Yvonne Okoro and stuff like that. Um, it's easy to make her look older and more, mm. you know, yeah. Mm, mm, and um, mm, mm. I like that. So I'm looking at her and I'm looking at all of these things, you know, and I'm thinking, because 
when I see somebody, when, when anybody comes on audition, I'm, I'm not looking at just what's in front yeah, of me. I'm looking yeah. at, okay, so what else can happen? What else can I use her for? What, what can she do? Mm. If I dress her like that, she change her hairstyle. Sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there with Lydia, like, in two shots, oh, the sun is in now. You know, yeah. So we're, yeah. we're discussing a lot of things before, you know, you leave. So if we really don't call you back, it means... <laughs> <more impression. laughs> No for all those who have auditioned us for Pharaoh <laughs> and we're not called back, well, there's a reason. <laughs> Next time, Chakaka. And Kabuki, you. Hers was on video. Yeah, hers yes. was on video. But I've seen her once before. Okay. I've seen her once okay. before and I liked her. I liked her audition. But then it took how many months before the second audition? It was, oh, it was in July that I did the second audition, so mm -hmm. it was so probably like six months, five months. Yeah, like five, five months, months, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah like that's, that's another thing. You know, a lot of people think, a lot of people call, you know, a lot of people will come to the office sometimes or send emails and say, I came to audition three months ago and I haven't been called. Said, no, <laughs> that's not how it works. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't mean we don't want you. It means that we haven't found yeah. the role, yeah. you know, for you. Yeah. So yeah. I think Kabuki did her second audition in six months. You know, and uh, again, you know, I, I thought of her. I'm always saying to Lydia, Lydia, sad girl, sad girl. You know, then we have to go through the files and look for the forms and stuff like that. Yeah. So it stays with me. Nobody ever goes. If, if you make an impression, it stays with me forever. Mm. I never forget. Mm. So no matter what happens, no matter how many years, I always go remember. back to somebody like, do you remember that? There's, there's some people that we call and they say, oh, I'm not here. I mean, I'm going to school in America or something. They're gone. Okay. You know, yeah, yeah. And then we have to go back and look for somebody else. Yeah. So, um, yeah, because I even auditioned for something else when I came in the yeah. first time. Yeah. It was a totally different script than this one. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Two different scripts. Yeah. Two yeah. Different so you auditioned scripts. for that and then you got a part for and, this one? And then I got a part for this one, for yeah. auditioning for this one. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So her second audition was very swift. I mean, the one on video. The moment I saw it, I was like, okay, that's it. Yeah. That's I didn't it. even have to think. Yeah. I didn't have to think. I said, that's it. I, I saw exactly what it is I wanted. Exactly what it is I wanted. Put your hands together. <laughs> it's not touchy. Let's check out some clips, man. Let's check out some, some movie clips. And uh, uh, let's see. We'll start with uh, Shelley. Yes. Uh, can we set up this scene? Um, well, this, uh, she's in a scene with uh, Mommy Dearest, Enima. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, the, the thing about Shelley's character, and even for her, you know, she grows into the character. And the good thing is, um, especially with, with the first season of Champagne, at some point, I stopped, like, you know, I, the, there were a few scripts ready before we started shooting. And then I, sta I, I was writing whilst we're shooting, mm, you know. Really? So, yeah, it's a very difficult thing to do. Yeah. Hugely difficult. But the good thing about doing that is you can see your actors and what it is they are giving to you. And so for her, even though I started her off as a, a very dutiful mm. first lady, you know, mm, supporting mm, the husband and mm, stuff. Mm. Oh, by the time we're around <laughs> episode seven, <laughs> well, so <laughs> so you should see so she her. Grows with you. I'm telling yeah. you, she grows, she grows, and you know, and I'm, I'm looking at, I'm thinking, my God. So she gives me ideas. I yeah. go back home and yeah. I'm like, I'm typing, you know. Yeah. Was yeah. so much. She talks to her mother-in-law like, you should see her anymore. <laughs> this clip is about her anymore. We should look at it. Okay, let's take a look at this clip. No, 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 no. The agreement was to aid and abet, not to change destiny. We are not winning at all costs. Your son is going to ensure he doesn't win. So what am I supposed to do about that? You're not listening to me, Kate. I'm not taking this lying down. We'll do everything in our part to ensure I win. I am warning you, Charlotte, you have no idea what you're getting yourself into. There are no second chances. <laughs> wow, wow. So, Shelley, tell me a little bit about playing this role with, with uh, uh, The chemistry between us is unbelievable. Mm. We love to hate each other. Mm. And it, it just flows. I remember, I don't know if it was this particular scene or another one. Immediately, Shelly said, cut. She goes, please, next time, can I slap him? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's very intense and it's, it's, it's just natural, like it just flows. Yeah, yeah. So you feel the adrenaline and everything and yeah. she wants to strangle me, but that's not what the script says. <laughs> yeah. uh, what about a scene? Do you have a scene with a, for oh, Kabuki? Oh yes, yes, yeah. I, I have a Kabuki. scene. I have a scene for Kabuki. Look, the, her role is a very intricate role, very complicated, you know. Um, she's this character that is burdened. She's, 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 she's carrying a lot. 
because she's in a she's in an abusive relationship, mm. you know. But then again, she's also the press. She's a press secretary, so she deals with the press. So it's it's um, it's a bit of an irony because she her she deals with the people who put everything out there. They mirror, you know, they mirror everything. They they put everything that we do. They they want the the tiniest bit of information to put out, and yet she has to try and keep mm. the rest of her life, you know, behind closed behind, doors. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, but in this particular clip, she's not having a good day, mm. and she gives it to them proper. Wow. Yes. Okay, let's take a look at this clip. You had no right to go behind my back and change my instructions. I have every right as long as you decide to overstep your boundaries. You don't see me snooping around with your press people, do you? I got a 50% discount on those items. If you were doing your job, I wouldn't have to go around seeking for discounts. Why look like the campaign treasurer? Exactly my point. You will give the people what we give you. This is a banchi newa. I'm not banchi kofa unkofu newa. I'm from Maba. Umba manze. I am not a child. I'm not. All right. Whoa. So how do you feel? I mean, the movie, watching yourself like this, and uh... um, I feel like when I when I was watching it back, I was I realized that I was doing better than I thought I was because while oh, we yeah? were in, I was. It was. It's a very challenging role. Like she's a very. She, She's a very, very, very broken person, mm. but she has to be strong at the same time. So mm. you have to go between those mm. two feelings mm. and emotions, mm. and yeah, it was really, it was really crazy. But it was really like fun to it. see. Yes, put it all together, man. Exactly. <laughs> wow. So, so it's next week, guys. Next week, Silverbird yes. Theaters, Accra Mall, or West Hills. You've got to see this. Um, we're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, shall we introduce? Uh, the couples. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the veterans and uh, stick around, we'll be right back.